Hey guys, welcome back. It's Workers and Resources. So last video, I put together this little town, which I don't know the name of yet. I welcome your input on what this little town should be called. The game says it should be called Warstock. I actually got, I don't mind that name, honestly. So it's currently called Warstock, but we can change it, you know, it can, uh, be something whatever you guys think it should be called let me know in the comments if you uh if you have anything there well citizens move to the city Ooh, i can disable uneducated people on a citywide basis i just learned something i don't know why i never noticed that before but i always clicked the name and immediately looked here and tried to change it but nope that that thing exists yep okay <laughs> anyway uh so on a citywide basis i can just go don't allow citizens to move and then they'll just hopefully not move to any of these buildings even though it's yeah well howdy do i just learned something new okay cool anyway uh we're gonna head all the way over here today because i want to take a look at our biggest expenditure also really quickly i'm uh i'm putting in a road right here this was already a road but it's it was dirt i'm making it more permanent with gravel now and I'm adding a bus stop here because we're going to add some more homes here. We just need some more people in this area. And I would really like to get more people who can ride the bus over to the meat industry. Yeah. When I get people working over there, I need more people working over there. But you know what? I need more than people working over here. I need crops. Crops have been lacking. And because there's no crops, there's no livestock. And because there's no livestock there's no meat uh, this train just sits here and collects it as long as it can which is cool i'm gonna send it back early because it's got 78 tons in there but every time we have to buy meat it costs me like 12 million rubles it sucks i don't like it it's 54,885 per ton gross slightly more expensive than alcohol but i want you to look at this crops the price of crops is almost 10,000 per ton. Ugh. I don't definitely don't want to buy them, right? I mean, in that case, we might as well just buy the livestock directly. <laughs> so we need crops is what I'm saying. I think it's time that we expand another direction. All right, we need to solve this stuff. And I, I know what some of you are thinking. God, he said he was going to do this. Yes, I did. And I, I will, I will, I will. But there's no point in adding a population here if you can't feed them, if you can't clothe them, if you can't give them the things they want, there's no point in it at all. They're all just going to move in and die, right? So we have to make sure we're stable with everything else first. And that's why I'm slowly expanding we're up to almost 57,000 people now. It's so I can see where my weaknesses are. I want to address the meat weakness. And for that, I need to address the crops weakness. So here's what I'm going to do. It's actually a pretty simple uh, expansion. It's not going to take us a whole lot of resources to do. And since Charlabinsk has almost nothing to do and their construction offices are just sitting there doing nothing with all these resources, just picking their nose because there hasn't been anything built over here in a long time. I think it's time we give them something to build right over here. Yeah. So see how the rail comes out this way. It was always intended to be a farm area over here. At least I'm hoping it was. I was, I was hoping it'd be a farm area. There's also a little bit of coal over here. So while we're expanding, we, we could tap into a coal source. I don't know if we're necessarily going to need it, but you know, we're doing pretty, pretty damn good on the coal front. So I don't think it's not going to be necessary, but it's marked here as the most efficient position for this deposit is right here. So, okay, here's what I want to do for this. Then we're going to set up a whole big thing here. Now I'm hoping, and I don't think they're close enough, but I'm hoping I'm, I'm, I've got a little, we got a little bit here. Nah, it didn't happen. Okay. So I'm going to have to move some trucks over here, some bulldozers and excavators over in this area so I can get rid of this water hole. All right. But in the meantime, why don't we talk about having a farm in this whole area here? All right. Uh, and I think I'm going to flatten this. It makes sense to flatten this, at least up to maybe up to this mountain. I'm not going to flatten the whole thing. That's going to take forever if, if it's even possible. <laughs> but this right here is definitely possible. And I would say this one right here is pretty possible too, at least up to the border. I mean, I can, I can flatten it past the border, but there's no reason to do that other than just aesthetics. So I probably will uh, leave it the way it is, but I feel like we could just, you know, have all of this be a bunch of farms and, uh, and we just need a farm in here. So 
why don't we take a look at this? I'm going to say that the rail, remember, it has to be at least 150. All right, so we're going to go out this way. So this is, yeah, piece of cake. Okay, so I'm going to say the rail goes ahead and darts out from this point. And we will make this electric, don't worry. Uh, we're going to draw it out from this point, like about, like, yeah, like out this way. Something out like this, all right? We'll, we'll just go out about, uh, I think maybe this far. Yeah, about, about that far, let's say, okay? And it'll be... It'll be two. I mean, we really only need one because there's only going to be one crop train doing this. I don't plan on having another train in doing this. So I think we're fine with one rail. If we need another one, it isn't that difficult to build it. So whatever, we'll just build it there. This is also going to be faster than building the rails everywhere else because it's closer to the track builders. So there you go. So we'll go about like that. And then for the time being, we will uh, do this just to like get ourselves set up for having two tracks, but then we're just gonna do this for now. All right, so that's gonna be a train track. It comes down this way. And obviously it's set up in a very similar setup to over there where we've got crops on both sides of the rail and the rail is gonna come all the way down and it will meet up with a big storage just like we got over there before. So where's the biggest one right here? You, big old grain storage, right? And we'll just say that you are stationed. Uh, you're getting a little too close to the hill. Honestly, I'd like you to be more central. More, more centrally located actually would be preferred. Maybe we'll just have to have two. Well, one here and then one over here. For the sake of all the trucks, I think that's probably the way to go. Because there's, again, we have all those trucks and stuff. I've learned my lesson with having all these trucks. All right, I've, I have. You watch. This will be way, way smoother. All right, so we're going to have this rail meet up with this track here. Okay. And, you know, for now, diesel for now, or not diesel for now, um, you know, concrete track for now. And, and, you know, just so that we can get it going and we can use the existing uh, trains. If we, if we don't get to it, we can use the existing trains. Now, this is not like the other crop train, okay? The other crop train has a very dedicated line. It is the only train that uses that line and therefore it can be longer than 155. This one is gonna be using the same tracks everyone else is using. So this train is gonna be restricted to that 150 meter uh, limit. It means we can use two trains, but it also means that it is going to uh, be able to connect all over the Republic rather than the dedicated, I'm sending you food only source, which is good. I, again, I want that train to never have to wait for any other trains. It always delivers the crops on time and it was consistently give us food. So far that's working out. This one, however, is gonna be delivering crops to this meat industry. So what I want from this train is for it to come through, the grain storage, pick it up. It's gonna come over this way, underneath this, and then it will turn and it'll find its way over into here. And it will stop here and it will deliver crops here. So the crops that it's going to deliver, well, it's gonna to have to be here. So we're gonna take away that road and we're going to bring this road down about, let's say, yay far. That's fine for a connection. And then we wanna go, well, is it fine for a connection? You know, like, yeah, I mean, the, the truck, you know, I'm gonna to have to make a second road anyway. Honestly, I probably should get to, it's April, right? Everything's growing already. Yeah, we don't need anything with the tractors. Tractors are in. You know what? Let's just make this. We'll just go ahead and pave this right now. Get that asphalt. And we can get this asphalt too. And we can get this asphalt too. We can get it all asphalt. It's fine. Uh, we'll get the Charlie Benz Road crews on this. That's fine. We'll just get, them, get both offices on it. It's cool. They got nothing to do. Might as well get them, get them to do it. Uh, but the other thing I want them to do, right? This we're only, has four, okay, on this side. We're only using three of them, the factory connections. So it stands to reason that we could say, for example, use a grain storage for 800 tons of grain. It could go right here. I kind of want more. Can we have one that's larger than that? That also fits in this space. It's like it's got to fit in this space. That's the tough part, right? Maybe if it, if it goes right, like right here, 
Maybe, but then I can't get that road. I must keep this road connection. Otherwise, this will not get maintained. Well, it'll, it'll, you know, be destroyed and stuff over time. So probably not. The footprint for these things are really big. So I, ooh, now, okay. So this one could work, but unfortunately it's, it's built with these one way roads. And like, even though I could maybe get that to be like, yeah, like this. The problem with this is that there's no way for the vehicles to leave. So if a vehicle pulls in here to get the crops, for example, it's not going to be able to leave. Uh, now, the one thing I could do if I did this is I could get it to where, you know, that factory connection right there hooks up and then that would be kind of cool, but then I wouldn't have the road connection. So I don't think there's a way around this. The, the footprint for these buildings are just too large. So we're going to just settle with the, uh, where is it? Where to go? Go here. Uh, we are going to settle with our standard grain storage here because it's large. Uh, because it's because it's large. That's it. <laughs> That's why we're doing it. Because it's large. I could maybe get two of them in here. You know, two of these would be possible. But I'd, I'd have to use a forklift. But it, it might be possible. And that would extend storage even more, you know? So what if, if I went like this, for example? Let's just see if there's enough space for this. Uh, let's... Let's, let's do this. Let's have you go away. All right. We're going to connect you at the earliest possible point over here. Nope. Like right. Yeah. Like right in there as soon as I can. This gives me the most space possible. And then if I can get right here, you. Yeah. Just like this. All right. If I connect you there. And I connect you here. Right? Then I could get a forklift right here. That would be interesting. Because then the train would deliver it here. The forklifts would pull it out of this and put it into this. And then the trucks would pick it up from here. That's not bad. You know? And now I got 1,600 tons instead of 800 tons, plus the additional 1,280 tons that goes in this thing, because this thing is dedicated to crop storage too. I want a lot of crops in this area, and that's what this is, and I think that's the way to go. And I probably what I would do is actually take, well, one of the offices, I probably need two distribution offices here, but one of the offices would be pulling into this to get it the other office would be pulling into this and then we also have dedicated trucks that are already running to bring crops here and those are already pulling into this because there's three parking spots on this and i believe there's only i want to say there's one but there might be two on these uh what does it say it says two okay so that's not bad i think we want multiple places to load and unload anyway uh and then we have this extra road and what we could do is just make sure that this extra road you know we'll, we'll We'll give it some distance, maybe get straight on here. Uh, and that way, you know, one of the offices is using this one. One of them is using this one the whole time. I like it. I think that's going to work out pretty well. Uh, it's a little extra work because there's four cliffs, which means there's, you know, four, four cliffs and I have to put fuel on them. But well, what do we got? We got the fuel rats over here. And to be honest, the fuel rats are starting to get a little bit busy. All right. I got 20 connections on every single thing except this, which has 11. So I think I want to get ahead of it. Because I'm going to have more than nine more places to deliver fuel. For sure. So I think I want to get ahead of this. And I'm just going to add one more distribution office. Right here next to this. Right. Oh, I want it to be right up now. Like I did it intentionally. All right, let's make it look on purpose. There we go. Right up there like that. And then this road, as planned, comes in just like that. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to get ahead of this and just have more fuel rats, right? Now, every single one of these stations, with the exception of a couple of them, have just three, uh, four trucks, sorry. I don't think there's any station here that has five. No. Well, this one does. I haven't needed to have more than three or four trucks in any of these things because everything has been doing pretty well in keeping up with the fuel, and I love this arrangement. I think this arrangement is the, just the cat's pajamas, man. Just get your fuel and off you go. I love it. Uh, you! You're breaking down. 
Jeez. What a jerk. Breaking down, stopping everybody, huh? Why don't you go get yourself scrapped? You can take that fertilizer with you. I don't care about it. Come on. Come on. You're stopping in the middle of the freaking roundabout, you jerk. Come on now. I wish there was tow trucks. Ugh. I wish there were tow trucks, and I also wish... I, I know this won't happen, because it's like one of those things that's impossible, but if we could get a mod that made trucks that were breaking down pull over to the side of the road, okay? Because contrary to what this game's trying to suggest, people who have car trouble do pull over, okay? <laughs> that does happen. But uh, apparently, not in the Soviet Republic. No, they don't. They, they sit here for hours blocking this whole intersection for hours go 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 get out of here yes go scrap yourself please Ugh. and now we've got a long line of vehicles waiting wrapped around all the way over to here even one breakdown is stops the whole world man all right anyway uh we want to get charlevin's because the charlevin's doesn't have much to do we'll go ahead and have you build these if you can Ooh, did i not put that connected I didn't connect it. Well, let's get that connected right there. Thank you. Uh, we are going to be delivering fuel into here, but it's not really that critical. So I think, I think what we'll probably do is just leave this dirt. Maybe once they're built and we start getting deliveries, you know, maybe we'll make this gravel, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I don't believe it's, it's a short segment. I have to make sure this connects as well. And then this is going to be a one-way track, and so is this. We're going to make sure... Whoops. No, that's this way. <laughs> no, no, no. It's this way. It is definitely. We're, dro we're dropping crops off. Absolutely. One way. Okay. All that is good. I like that. All right. So, while they build that stuff, we're going to be kind of, you know, waiting it out while they're building this stuff. But, you know, Charlotte's offices are pretty good at doing what they do. They've been... They're pretty... They're pretty good at it. I, on the other hand, am just clickety-click instead of dragging boxes. But yeah, that's just me. But the offices are good at what they do, uh, contrary to, to me. So we have this, and uh, now it's time to get our setup over here for dropping off the crops. And I think what I really should do, honestly, I really, I really should, uh, you know, figure out where the ends of the crops are so I can min-max the spacing here, right? And I can't do that very well until I tear this all down. So this is the plan, okay? I'm going to say this is the plan, but then I'm going to go in right now and I'm going to bring vehicles over here and I'm going to flatten this and then like, you know, maybe cut into the mountain a little bit here to flatten that and then, you know, cut this out and flatten this. And that's going to give me an idea of where these crops can go, how many I can afford to have and how many storages I need to, to do that as well as how many farms I need. Uh, but it'll give me a better idea of spacing so that maybe I don't cut here. Maybe I cut in over here instead, you know. So give me a few in-game months <laughs> to uh, kind of break all this stuff down. It takes time. Um, probably be a couple extra days until this video releases. But I, I need to do this. And it really needs to be done fast. The meat industry needs to be operating. Uh, if nothing else, it needs to be operating at half capacity. Just because these things are always working with a lot of people. Because I can have 50 in each of these i can uh we got people living in both of these buildings now which is great both of these buildings can walk to the meat industry at least to those two buildings they can't walk to these two but that's what the parking lots are for and so like we we can have enough people in here i just have to get uh the crops to support it and same thing with here i can build this out to be a nice little neighborhood here uh this house here actually cannot reach the market there's nothing I can do to, to change that. It just simply can't reach it. Um, it's the shortest possible route. All the entirety of it is uh, the, the light posts, you know, the sidewalks with lights all the way to the store. And it just, they can't reach. So that's why I need this to be a bigger neighborhood. And then we can have like a little corner store or something, you know, over here. I guess it's probably going to have to be a big market though, unless I put it like way over here. I could put it way over here. The the I remember over there from Magnetograd, you remember we we have to make the store inconvenient for the rest of these guys so that they go to this one. I know everyone to go to this one with the exception of a few, 
which will be this area over here. We, if we add people here, it's going to add too many people. And this shopping center is probably not going to survive that. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have another store. I think I'll probably put it right here. Yeah. And then we'll have, you know, maybe gravel paths or dirt paths even for, for part of it just to make it to where it's inaccessible by some of these guys. Okay. Uh, so yeah, give me some time. Ooh, hello. Right in my face. Look at this old helicopter. Look at you. I don't remember buying you. I mean, I'm sure I did at some point, but I don't remember you. But you look awful cool. You look like you've seen a few things, you know? <laughs> you've rescued a few people. You're a... You're, you're, I mean, you gotta be a hospital helicopter, right? No? Uh, if you are, then you're coming from a different hospital. What are you? Yeah, you're from the Zernoski Hospital. I don't remember buying you, but I'm really glad Zernoski has a different, unique, like, has a different look for their helicopters. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm digging that. All right, anyway, yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll get this done. I'll be right back. All right, I still have a long way to go here in order to get this hill gone. But I've made some progress, and I think it's, I've made enough progress to where I can kind of get a good idea as to where the fields and stuff are going to go. Um, I do need to pull the mountain back a little bit here, but this is where I situated my bulldozers and my excavators. So I have to, you know, I'm going to have to move this to, to get that. And that's fine, because we can start, you know, kind of over in here, and that's probably pretty good. I don't think I want to get into the mountain in too much more. It starts to take a lot longer when it's really high up like this. So it's, it's what of like, you know, what's worth my time is basically all I'm doing now. So uh, I'm going to grab the big field. You can see just how big they are and how much space we're going to have. So I'm thinking we will probably have a field pretty close to the track. So why don't we count on there being one here eventually? And then we can say that maybe this is one-ish. Right, and so from there, we would probably start about here, I guess. So we'll go ahead and place that field down. And, you know, we'll, we'll just use that as a reference point. It doesn't have to be a straight line relative to the mountain or anything. But I would like these, of course, to be uh, you know, fairly straight. So we're just going to find the... Oh, boy. Hey, camera. How you doing? Wow. Okay, cool. Awesome. You don't want to let me have my mouse over here, huh? All right, cool. Yeah, my mouse is like way off the screen for this. I'd, I'd like it to be a bit more centered. What the hell? Uh, with, you know, a couple of redos here on the placements, we've got ourselves uh, a bunch of fields. Okay. So nice big row of really big fields heading all the way down that mountain. We are going to have two more. We'll have one right here and then one right here. So if this is where the fields are, then obviously there's going to be a road going through here. So let's just get, I think we'll get it a little bit closer. We'll say a road comes straight out like this all right we're gonna have it be about there i think should be pretty good just as long as it's relatively equidistant from all the fields it looks pretty close so we'll, we'll go ahead and accept that and then we'll go ahead and connect all of these we will eventually well you know what? we don't really have to connect them do we because we're going to disconnect them uh to make this road uh, you know, either gravel or asphalt, one of those two, but we're going to do something. We're not going to leave it mud. So, yeah, so look at that. And that seems pretty good. Okay. So next thing, right, is the next row of fields. And we're going to leave a gap in, in the row of fields. We're going to leave a gap probably, uh, actually I could probably just do it right here. Yeah. And then they can just head down that way. Okay. So that's, that's probably fine. Yeah, we'll leave a gap like this. Okay, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a field right up next to this. About there ought to do. Seems good. Right about right about there. Okay. And then we wanna come right down again with the field and make sure that it is gonna line up. So we're just gonna come right down here again so I can see the fence. Put that first dot right there with that field. Mark. And then right there about this view or so mark and we just kind of do this over again until we have enough fields on this side and then i could choose to leave a gap at some point over here 
so that I have like another distribution office or, or something. But I think for the most part, we're probably all right. Now, maybe leaving room for a road would be a good idea. Because over here is probably where my... This is going to be where my stuff is getting dropped off at. It's going to be right here. Because it's fairly centrally located to these fields and then the fields I'm going to have over on this side. I just want everything to be kind of central. So I guess maybe not a road yet. Or if I did, I'd be like right here or something. You know? That'd be okay. We'll leave a, enough room for a road like right here. And then one more field on this side, and I probably should do this first. Let's do this first. We'll go ahead and do the terrain. Landscaping. I really do wish there was, like, a job for this. I know he mentioned it a couple of times in the game, but this whole, like, painting the terrain thing, it's just so inconsistent with the rest of the game, you know? I really wish they had a, you know, flattened job. I could somehow, you know, tell them what I want. I could say level with center point, and then I draw a box. And then the job is to, you know, make the terrain in that box level with the central point that I chose. Instead of this, you know, paint the ground thing. Because it takes a lot of my time. I could be off designing something else, right, while they do this. But I guess. It's just a matter of preference, I suppose. And it's probably a difficult thing to, you know, program in. Because everything else in the game also is a, an actual structure or something. And, you know, level terrain is not really a structure. So perhaps that's the problem. Maybe that's, maybe that's difficult to do because of that. I don't know. It just rotated. I don't want it to rotate. Go back. There we go. And then real quick, come down. And I'm going to put it right about here-ish. My, my view on my camera is not quite right. Close enough. Close enough. Okay. There's my fields. All right. I know it's kind of dark now, but that's my fields. I'm leaving the terrain marker on so you can see it easier. But, you know, now you can kind of see where the outline is. So these rails here clearly are not what we're going to have okay that ain't it uh, we are going to get track builders out here eventually i'm probably going to tell them to start working on this pretty soon uh, but the train tracks actually are going to be through where's that where's that coal mine wait a minute where'd my coal mine go i, I need to make sure that we're not going to interfere with that where did i oh it's way over here all right, it's way over here. I, I'm not going to interfere with that at all. All right. So we're going to take the rail and uh, let's just put the storage in now, huh? Yeah, we can put the storage in. I, obviously, I have to flatten all this still, but there's enough room here for the storage. So we're going to do it. So we're going to have our grain storage, big one, right about here, I think is good. Uh, we don't have to interfere with... Hmm, now, I do want the drop-off points, though, don't I? I certainly do. All right. Tell you what, we're going to put it right here and leave enough room for a double road. I'm going to put it right there. All right. I'm, I'm putting my foot down. This is the mark, right? This is where we are. This is where it's going to be. All right. So this road is now going to be an asphalt road and it's going to come out uh, about like this. Yeah. Asphalt road will go about like this then there will be another road next to that and another road next to that yeah that's how that goes all right so then we'll take this part i think this part here away and this part here can go all right and then you're just gonna go like that and you're gonna go like that and then you connect here and here I could like angle that a little bit more. Might as well. There we go. All right. That's our drop-off point for these things. And then on the back side, we have uh, more drop-off points, right? We, we've done that over there, and I think it's working really well. So we're going to do that over here, too. We're going to say, where's my warehouses? All my warehouses. Yeah, these little warehouses right here. There are two, park two parking spots in each one of these. Makes them ideal for this type of thing. So we're going to go one... 
Yeah, one. Scoot over a little bit. We'll go two. Oh, come on now. Two. Yeah, and then over here, we'll flip it so that the roads are kind of lining up. I kind of want them to be the same. But by here, three. And uh, we could do it with this one. It's fine. Four. All right, factory connections. One. Oh, don't do that. Oh, you already have that one. Never mind. Two, three, four. So there are a total of five different points in which we can drop off crops to this. Two trucks, each one of these. And I think the big grain one, the super big grain one, doesn't that have the same amount? God, I can never find my stuff now. I'm, I'm getting very tired, you guys. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to take like a two, three day break from playing games for a while. Man, I have just been cruising on this lately. So expect content to slow down. And it probably already has by, by the time you see this. But I got to have a break, man. Everybody's got to take health breaks, right? I'm not like, I don't feel, I don't feel burnt out. You're like burnt, burnout and being tired are completely different things. Okay. I've, everyone usually has this thing where they, they leave a comment. And they're just like, don't wear yourself out. Don't burn out, Charlie. Like, I'm not going to burn out. All right. But uh, you do get tired, especially as an old guy. You definitely get tired. That's the thing that happens. We're going to go ahead and connect that and connect that. That gets these things hooked up again. There we go. So now they can be built. And this is going to go... Uh, well, it's just going to go straight that way. I think I want it to curve this way, though. Yeah, I'm going to have it curve. Let's have this rail come around. Have you come about like this? That seems good. So the track builders can work on this thing here uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna burn out but I, I do have uh you know a limited amount of stamina and I just got so many games I want to cover I'm having a I'm having a blast I've never had more fun play, making content in my life that's crazy you know I've been doing this for almost nine years and I've never had more fun than I'm having now I mean that that is the truest statement of you found your calling you found the job you want to do right that's what that is um it's 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 a lot of hard work. It's not just playing games all day. There's a lot of hours done doing things that aren't games. <laughs> but um, man, it's so rewarding when you know I can look at my channel and I can say, "Hey, these guys are really digging this thing. These guys are really liking this this thing I'm building, this thing I'm making. They they really like it." That's it's so rewarding. So thank you guys so much for you know tuning in. And I, I don't know what to say. It's uh, I don't want to go with dream come true. It's a little cliche, but yeah, it's kind of kind of feels that way sometimes. All right, this rail is going to come all the way out like the straight lines. Very good because we need to make sure we have enough room for all the the offices and the different roads and all the, the new fields later. And those new fields are going to need straight lines too. So I guess we're just going to do straight lines today. There we go. All right, that rail goes all the way out like that. All right. Then we just hook it up like we were uh, we were gonna do before. So you're gonna go in like so. Just gonna double check that right there. Yeah, like so. That's good. Nice round, big arcing curve here. Not not a super straight. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, it's it's not 90 degree. That's why it's messing with me because it's not a 90 degree. I have to come in just a little bit because of that. There we go. That'll that'll do. That'll do. Boom. And then let's get rid of that. Cool. All right. Now, this shouldn't interfere with anything we currently do, which is why all the rails have been told to go straight to electric, right? Because when the track builders get in here, it's not going to interfere with anything. Um, however, because like this office right here, right? We don't want this inter We don't want interference on this office, but they need to be able to get to the other side of the track to build it. And there's no crossing anywhere. So I'm also going to have them build just a wooden one is fine right here. Whoops. Right here. Yep. We're just going to have a crossing built right here. It's a wooden one. Uh, it won't interfere with any electric trains later or anything. Um, you know, it'll have no impact whatsoever on that. But later on when the track builders are building this out and I suspect by the time we're building this part out, we probably are already switched to electric. So this will be one of those things where the electric trains will totally ignore this because they can't use it, but the the real, you know, the, the track builders will be able to use it. I would think, though, that once you get out this way, though, you don't want the track builders crossing here. 
you know you want them crossing the latest possible point so i guess that's fine i mean you know the the track builders can uh it, we can delete this maybe i don't even need the second crossing what do i need the second crossing for i just need them to be able to get to this side of the track but if they're on their way back then they're gonna be on the right side of the track anyway right so i don't need this i just keep making crossings every time and i'm just like now i'm epiphany light bulb i don't think i need the other way yeah that's just the way that goes wow i've been doing it wrong the whole time all right uh take this here and just having all sorts of epiphanies today and we're learning things all right there all right so we'll have that put on the schedule for you and then i'm gonna turn it on auto search because i think it can just do it you know why not turn on the auto search it'll do all these rails it'll search it we're close enough for that now and uh we don't have to babysit it all right so there's our road and uh this road here will connect to this road and i'm probably going to yep we're gonna have this keep going so this roadway let's pull this back all right we're gonna pull this oops hang on i just got my game glitched let's pause it so i don't have that happen anymore uh now we do need to make sure that we're getting out of the way for terrain so i'm just gonna have them build i think about this far is good yeah this will be good right there and then also right here now one of the tactics we talked about earlier was having an extra road that only the farm vehicles will use while everyone else is using these right like so the the x the tractors and stuff right but this approach has our main road that we're traveling through and having all the trucks and stuff traveling through is completely separate from this you you only go down this road if you're going into a field right and that that's fine you know i don't need to have that but later on you know if we have a field over here for example which we probably will have fields over here then i'll, I'll want to have a second road to where the tractors and all those guys harvesters and stuff they can use that road to where everyone else is using the main road all right so come over here and bring it all the way this way i think just all the way down yeah i'll probably do a bridge at some point here maybe I'm unsure. I'm trying to see if that's actually straight because it doesn't feel straight. It's that's straight enough. Yeah, that'll work. Bring that down over there. All right, cool. So to get these roads started, simple enough. We'll just pull off of this road here and then we'll attach with a dirt road. We'll just go like that and then like, I guess like that. And now all the road crews will be able to build that when I tell them to go and do it. Boom, just like that, easy. Cool, cool, cool. And all this stuff gets road connections as well, right on the back side. So we wanna have a double road over here on this side. Uh, no roundabouts are necessary, I don't think. We're just gonna go and leave a little room for you know gas stations or a distribution hub or something. So leave a little bit of room here and then we'll round this corner. And I would like to get the terrain I think I have enough room there to manipulate the terrain though. Yeah, the terrain will be fine. Like this way, and then you're gonna come back over. Probably over here is enough room, I think. And then connect there. Yeah? Yeah, and then this will, there'll be a second road here, by the way. There's gonna be a two by two kind of thing. Um, but I, I don't wanna do that until I have the terrain done. So while all my stuff uh, is building, I can be flattening the land is kind of what I'm doing here. Um, cause remember in realistic mode, you use your fuel source, right? You use fuel. So I could do this paused, right? I'm just, just thinking out loud here of what you guys are probably thinking or something, but I could do all this paused. I can do all the, the terrain stuff paused, but when they run out of fuel, then it'll stop working. And then I have to unpause it and let them, you know, everybody's got to go refuel. And the way I set this up is, uh, They've got this office here. Uh, I'm not actually down an excavator. Probably should buy another one. I must not have hit the button enough times. Uh, yeah, one more, please. So we're going to get another excavator here. Uh, but they, they they sit here, and then all of them have to all at once wait in line to refuel here. I would rather let the time run because I've got other things I want to build at the same time. But then also, when one of them runs out of fuel, they can move to go refuel while you know I'm still going. And so it kind of never at 100 percent speed but always able to go and I, I like that better especially when i've got all my vehicles and stuff like working on this stuff so i'm gonna have this area handled by karasna uh the industrial yard 
because they have all that gravel that I want to use. I'm going to have them start to deliver resources to this part here, uh, all the roads and stuff. I can have them start to deliver resources to the roads. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they're not going to actually build them, but they will have the, the resources there. And so when we do get to them, when the other offices get to them, they'll already have it done already. Same thing with these points here, if it can. Okay, can't. All right. Fair enough. So that office way over there is going to do this, which is going to, you know, use more fuel, but it also uses up that gravel. Let's just take a real quick check at how that gravel is, because I'm pretty sure we've been using a lot of it. Oh, baby. Not even remotely full. I'm liking that. Sweet. Got a little bit more here, of course, but then this is empty. Yeah. Construction waste is completely empty. Perfect. Uh, and then over here, we got waste here. We're missing the waste. Ooh. This is what I mean. Yeah, we're all, all caught up now. Huh? So who needs extra storage when eventually this stuff works itself out? Uh, I did also disconnect it for a little while there and uh, so I can make this a gravel road. And so now that I've got this gravel road in place, I can now tear all this stuff out. I want to check my store really quick. Looks like we're holding pretty good levels here. I'm liking it. All this burnable waste is getting picked up. Super good. There you go. Awesome stuff there, Mr. Truck, Mr. Orange Truck. Uh, and then, uh, you know, people are you know, a couple people without a job. And that's that's your fault, man. There's plenty of work here. Although maybe, you know what? Maybe it's hitting the limits here. It's possible we're hitting the limit here. I'm wondering about over here, too. Maybe we're hitting limits on these two. How's my plastic supply? You know, it's 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 been worse. The fact that we got 48 over there is pretty good another 37 here and then how about the cars what do they have 29 all right so we're keeping the supply balanced and stuff too i can dig it all right got more cars being made here this is empty because we've been sending them over to zerna oh my gosh i wonder how many cars are on the road in zernoski right now i haven't looked at it in almost a calendar year normally i've been keeping track of it but i haven't looked at it in like a calendar year like i said so um so not a whole lot of vehicles here so we've definitely been selling them. Uh, uh, where is the cars? All right, so lo lots of them in the parking lots. Yeah, all right, here we go. This is your W char traffic. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's flowing. If I turn it on faster speed. I mean, everyone gets their turn, right? So that's the nature of the whole stoplight, everything is that eventually you will stop and, and then everyone else is going to go too. But you, as long as they're not like really backing up, the lines aren't getting crazy, then we're fine. But the more cars I add to the system, the more I have to evaluate the lights, which is what we do in the real world too, right? We evaluate speed limits on roads and light timings and all sorts of things as society develops to see, you know, if we need to make any changes. And that's kind of what I've, you know, normally doing offline now since we spent so much time on it and I had... I mean, I had complaints. <laughs> I did. I had I had complaints, but I also was complaining myself, too. I was just kind of like, you know, damn it, you're right. Too much of this. But now, well, like this right here is backing up. So I, I got to do something with this area. I probably need to make, uh, probably need to make this light a little bit longer. Maybe interchange it with an, a different direction. Uh, we have this light over here. This is much improved, too. So this intersection right here. Like the busiest intersection in the entire public, right? No, it's not the busiest for the trains. The busiest for the trains is down over by steel. But for the for the roads, this is the busiest one so far. I suspect, which is why I built it differently, I suspect that this will be the busiest one once we build Charlie Wins North. I could be wrong, but I imagine this one will be. And uh But at the moment this one is. And so what I've done is a couple of things. I was really getting backed up right here is the main backup point. And so all I did is I added a left turn lane. We've been implementing left turn lanes like this, and they've been working wonderfully. I love it. It looks so clean too. Everyone just gets out of the way if they want to turn left. And, and then I have a really long light in this direction. And then eventually this light shuts off. Actually, I think it goes like this. I think these two are on. I'll just click it. Yeah. So these two are on first like this. I'll just do it. So everyone can go this way for a little while. Then the left shuts off and then these guys can go with this one staying on. 
and then these two can go and then there's like a five second period where this one only goes and that's just to allow it to turn left otherwise they get stuck here um but that's how i'm doing that side and then i've done the same thing over here because this was starting to back up too so i changed how this area works and it's flowing a lot better now although graphically it looks a little bit bad like, come on auto save looks like uh somebody took a bite out of my road right there but it's fine it's it's a functional road <laughs> anyway so i made this a one way from this point on and uh i was considering doing it from like this point on but it doesn't practically matter uh, it's just i just wanted to make sure that if we had anything in the demolition office which we currently don't i guess there's no mechanisms here um but if i wanted to make sure they could get out and go this way if they needed to and uh, i never actually bothered to check if there was anything in there so maybe i could just delete this yeah we probably could get rid of it it's a temporary thing we can get rid of and we can go ahead and get rid of this too there done ironically i need a demolition office to get rid of that so it just you have to demo the office and then you can demo the road there will be a demo office that will pick this up though uh, and literally a whole, whole bunch of these things can pick it up there's there's several in Cernikova. we'll just have them do it here Couple, several different trucks that can do that anyway so they come through here and then there's a quick right make that easy so they don't have to wait and then also this is a dedicated left that's the same intersection as this so it's all kind of tied together so in other words they won't leave here unless they can get all the way out they won't get stuck here that's why it's that's why they're tied together and then right here is a left turn lane and this left turn lane brings them into this area so uh ultimately it's cleaning up traffic uh both of those two things together have really opened things up because all the hang-ups that used to be here and bringing making a line out this way and the hangups that were happening right here that was causing you know hangups at the in the intersection here and then everybody trying to turn right here turn left right here was backing this up and it was just a mess but you know what this is what you do you're right you take a look at your traffic and you say what's the problem and then you uh whip out that solution man yeah just do it all right so um i think we've covered a lot in this video to be honest uh we haven't gotten a whole lot done i i don't think anyway but um it just takes time right um we have zero dollars which is pretty par for the course i'm actually tempted to go and get another fuel boat <laughs> or maybe get a bigger boat uh another fuel boat would be cool if i wanted to buy them you know maybe at one of these times when we get some boats uh we get some dollars i might be able to have like this tanker or something 16 million that's kind of nuts but it's eight years old already but if i wanted to buy a different oil boat not the oh the container express how nice uh but we're not, we're not gonna buy the huge you know the pride or anything i don't need to do that but uh, our current boat right is is this one it can hold 27 70 tons of oil so i'm thinking okay well if we wanted to upgrade from 27 10 or from yeah from 27 70 right if we're upgrading from there I guess the only step up is Sophia at 14,000. But that is an 80 million ruble boat. And I don't need that much, you know? So I'm, I'm just going to buy another one of these. And then they can work on alternating schedules. And that will allow me to have more dollars. But I, I might get too, I might get too carried away on, the, on that stuff, right? So what I could do is have this boat. I could tell it to fill 50% full or something like it doesn't it doesn't buy a full load every time you know and then that would help me with the dollars but we'll see if I let me take a look at my ships really quick we might have uh so these are currently these are my my four ore carriers this one is on his way to load so he's already loading oh he's unable to load because there's no dollars right 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 but look, he's got 12 million rubles. 12 million. That's a lot. God, man. I need it, right? I think I need it. That 12 million rubles, that one boat is paying for this oil tanker, you know? I think I want it. I'm going to send the... Spending more money, man. But yeah, I'm going to do it. We're buying another one. I'm on a spending spree. I've gone crazy. And then we'll just have those boats, the two oil tankers. I'll release it in time to where they kind of alternate in their schedules. And 
then we should have a constant flow, right? Because this is the oil boat. It's on its way into to buying more oil right now. That's going to be expensive. But then uh, there's a that's steel. That's going to get us more rubles. And then there's my 587. So I could probably take this and just copy route to 587. There we go. And then are you going to... I'm asking for trouble here, aren't I? <laughs> I totally am. It's going to turn around and buy the oil right now. I'm going to have two boats buying all at the same time. All right. So in the next video, we're going to be bankrupt. <laughs> we're not going to have any rubles for a little while. It's going to suck just for a bit. But it's all going to work itself out. The moment those oil boats drop off that oil for the dollars, everything starts to work itself out at that point. Yeah. So come on back for the next one where we'll hopefully have some progress on these fields. I'm going to keep trying to flatten this stuff out so that we can have even more fields over here and even even more fields and then another, you know, distribution hub, right? We'll have this, this train track will come out again, that kind of thing. Maybe I'll even have it come out this way and then turn here. I don't know. I mean, we might be able to have a different design, have the fields go different directions. Yeah? As far as where the farm is going to go, I could probably just put one right here. And then we have it, it will cover all these fields and then we're going to have some medium fields probably in this little area right here. So we'll have I actually might put the medium fields here. That way I don't have to go into the mountain so much. Yeah, that's a good idea. Big fields go here and then the little fields can go here, but it doesn't matter. It, it, whatever, whatever we end up doing, it's going to work. All right. Take it easy. We'll see you. Bye bye.